So here's what you need to mod your DSi. You need some way to get files to the SD card. You'll need an SD card and you'll need a DSi. This can be the normal version or the XL version. So let's get started. First, we're going to insert our SD card into our computer. We're going to copy the NDS folder from the Twilight menu zip and put that to the root of our SD card. So in order to do that, we'll need to right click the Twilight menu and show more options. We'll need to go to 7-zip and select extract here. Next, we're going to copy the boot.ndis folder from the Twilight menu zip folder to the root of our SD. So, so far we're gonna have the boot.ndis file in there and the NDS folder. And these will be to the root of our SD card. Next, we're just going to grab the dumptools.nds file and we'll drag that to the root of the SD card. So your SD card should look like this. It should have the NDS folder, the boot.nds file, and the dumptool.nds file as well. If you had trouble unzipping the Twilight menu file, you need to have 7-zip. That will be in the description down below if you're not able to open it. Now we're going to safely eject our SD card from our computer. We're going to put it in our DSi. Once that's in there, we're gonna power on our device and we're gonna to go to the camera option. You may have to go through a tutorial for the DSi camera. In this case, I don't have to because this is a used DSi from Japan. And once you go through that tutorial, you're gonna click on the album button right here. What this is doing is creating a folder on our SD card. And the next thing we need to focus on is does our DSi have a Facebook icon right here? If it does not, just like this, I'm going to have that link below, and if you have a Facebook icon, you'll click that link instead. It's going to give you a pit.bin file, and that will be important for our SD card. So after that, we just need to power off our device because it just created a folder for us. We're going to take our SD card out, and this will go back into our computer. So you will need to go to your SD card, and then that will put a private folder on your SD card. So once you've downloaded the correct pit.bin file, we're going to move that to the SD card through a few folders. So follow me on here. We're going to go to that private folder that our DS created, and then we're going to select the DS folder. Then we're going to select the app folder. Then we're going to select this folder right here. What we're going to do is rename the pit file already in there. We're going to name that to tip, T-I-P dot bin, and we'll hit enter. Next, we're going to place the pit.bin that we just downloaded for the correct icon if you have Facebook or not. We're going to move that to this folder. And also, if there is a folder at the root of your SD card named DCIM, make sure to make a backup of that so you don't lose your pictures. If you don't have pictures that you care about, then you don't have to worry about that step. Next, we're going to be launching the exploit. So we're going to eject our SD card. So we're back to our DS. We're going to put our SD card back into our DSi. We're going to power it on and we're going to go to the camera function again. We're going to select the SD icon at the top right. So once that's selected, we're then going to press the album, which is this large button on the right, and it will flash magenta if it was copied correctly. So it was correct. And now we can use Twilight Menu++, plus plus. but first it's going to ask us to choose our language. And since I have English as my language, I'm going to go till I find that, which it is now selected. I will press A to proceed, and I'm going to choose my region as USA. And Twilight Menu is loading as we speak. So now that this is loaded, we're going to be creating a backup in case our system has an issue later, which I've never come across, but it's a just in case. So we're going to do that now. Save our device in case of a brick, which would mean our console no longer works and we'd be able to restore it at a certain point. So let's do that now. We're going to run the dump tool and I'm just going to choose this first option here. We're going to press the A button. We're going to press A to begin the NAND dump, and this will take about seven minutes to complete. So when it is complete, it will ask you to press start to exit, so we'll do that. So now we're going to power off our device and insert our SD card back to our computer, and we're going to save those files that it created. So we just created a NAND dump with our DSi. I plugged my SD card from the DSi back to the computer. 
and now we have this really long file name and we're going to save this to our computer. So what you can do is left click and drag it onto your desktop. So store it somewhere safe. For example, I just put it on my desktop and you can move that to another place if you'd like. And once you've backed it up somewhere else, you can now delete it from your SD card. Next, we're going to install Unlaunch. So we're going to download that from the description down below. We're going to extract the Unlaunch folder right here. We're going to right click that, show more options and go to 7-zip and extract here. We'll then get an unlaunch.dsi file and we can place that anywhere on our SD card and I'll just move that to the root of our SD card right here. Now we're going to eject this from the computer and plug it back into our DSi. So we're plugging this back into our DSi after we put the unlaunch file on our DS. And we're going to start up Twilight menu again. So we're gonna power it on. We're gonna to go to the camera. We'll select the SD card and then we'll select album. What we'll do next is hit the select button. We're gonna click the DS on the bottom here. We're gonna use the left and right shoulder buttons till we get to the miscellaneous section. We'll scroll down until we get to the Sysnan region. And for example, this is on Japan. So I'm gonna go till I get to the USA option. And then we can hit the B button. Next, we're going to launch the unlaunch DSI installer. We're going to select the install now option and press A. So we can press the B button and we're going to go to power down and press A. So now we're going to power our system back on. After we've turned on our DS, if it comes back to this menu, we've done everything correct and we've successfully modded our DSi. We're going to go to the options menu and press A. We're going to select the no button to twilight menu plus plus. And then we're going to go to save and exit and we're going to press A. And now we can turn off our DS. And now we can take out our SD card and we're going to plug that back into our computer. So we will need to move over these files from our downloads. These files are unzipped from our Twilight Menu Plus Plus that we had earlier to our SD card. And we'll replace the files in the destination. And now our SD card has all the appropriate folders. And now we're going to put this back into our DSi. So once we've had our SD card removed from our computer, we moved all those folders over. We're going to put our SD card back into our DSi. We're going to power it on. Now we have the appropriate folders to start playing our games. So we would go to ROMs and press A. And now we can choose what kind of games we want to play. For example, Nintendo DS games would be NDS. And as you see, we have no games here. So if you want to learn how to put games on your DS, click the video on the screen right here. Thanks for watching.